My work is providing um, support and guidance to individuals and families who are coping with dementia through in-home therapy or um, dementia family coaching. And why it is important to the world is because I feel that after individuals receive a diagnosis, there is not enough support that is provided to them. Um, they may be directed to a support group or um, you know, maybe told about the local Alzheimer's Association chapter, but um, I feel like families need a lot more guidance than just that. And I feel that I can help take the stress um, and some of the overwhelm and some of the burnout off of families um, in order to you know, make sure that their loved one um, may be able to stay at home longer by giving them the tools um, and strategies that they need or maybe taking the weight off of their shoulders of educating them exactly what stage of the disease their loved one is in. And yes, they do need an increased level of care. Um, sometimes families might know that, but they just need a professional to kind of um, boost them a little bit and guide them. So I feel that every family should have a dementia coach um, helping them and guiding them because this is a, a difficult journey, um, but it doesn't have to be um, scary if you have someone on your team. I am a marketer and I help brands establish their value in unique, engaging, and sometimes clever ways. Um, so much of what incites people to take action, make a difference, or just make a purchase is how they feel. And so a lot of what I do as a marketer is assess how a buyer is feeling and present our services in a way that um, compels them to want to learn more or that identifies a need that they have and um, provides a solution to that need. Um, so why is marketing and why is what I do important in the world? Um, marketing gives a brand a personality. It builds confidence, um, if done correctly, and trust with uh, the consumer. And um, it, can, it has the power to influence and shape how people feel about a brand, an organization, or a person, which can be very powerful um, in the business world, but also um, in much of the nonprofit space. And we're even seeing some of that play out in the elections today. Um, a lot of what's out there um, is positive and maybe not so positive uh, marketing, but it does have an influence over how people feel and ultimately how they, how they behave and act. Am I doing the right thing for my savings? Am I investing appropriately in the different investment vehicles um, that I should be today so that I can live the lifestyle that I want in the future? Well, that's where I come into play. My name is Krista Klassen. I am a local financial advisor and really I just help women like you, um, whether you're single or married, um, maybe you're questioning if you're doing the right thing with your finances, right? I know it can sometimes be overwhelming with the jargon that is used out there today. And honestly, I'm there to be your guide, be your coach, and to help you make um, wise and intentional decisions today so that you can live the lifestyle that you want. The financial future is definitely female. So the statistics out there show that um, at one point, we are very likely to be managing our finances by ourselves. I feel like I'm getting to make a difference every single day um, because I work for a company that focuses on providing clean drinking water um, to residents in states and cities all across the nation. Um, and that's something that impacts every single person every single day. Um, and not only that, there's all kinds of different programs, both in drinking water and um, water that we use you know, for everything. Um, and there's all sorts of you know, programs to help us make sure that we have access to clean water at all times and that it's safe um, or that we can use water to help you know track and trend um, 
you know, what's going on in our cities, you know, to make better decisions uh, about our health and safety. And so uh, it's really, really cool to work um, in the water space because it impacts everybody. Um, and I work with a lot of superheroes every single day um, who want to better their communities. Also getting to help develop and grow other individuals that I'm working with um, every single day because uh, nothing's more rewarding than, you know, working with, you know, a rep who's perhaps never, you know, worked a really complex, you know, enterprise deal and helping navigate that to, you know, a closed one and just the look on their face um, and, and giving them, you know, an opportunity to go succeed and reach their potential and grow um, is really fun and exciting. I am a real estate agent. I help people, I guess, families and people come together um, to buy and sell their houses. Um, you know, I used to think that it was just about a house. Like, I love houses. I love design. I thought this would be a great job. Um, the longer I'm in it, the more I realize I am more of a um, mediator a lot of times. I'm a problem solver. I have to deliver some not so great news. Um, and at the end of the day, um, could people buy and sell their houses without a realtor? For sure. Like it could totally happen and it does. Um, but a lot of times I think these deals would not come together just because there is a lot of emotion and there's a lot of managing that emotion throughout the process. And people tend to get, um, get it gets really personal. Like your home is so personal and people um, get really defensive and, and upset uh, throughout the, the process when things are said about their home. Um, so I feel like I help manage a lot of emotions, a lot of problems, and try to get people to come together. I work in the financial services industry in a corporate law department environment. I have for many years, and the focus there is on compliance um, and understanding the regulatory framework and the laws. And why that's important is it ultimately uh, leads to consumer protections, um, but also a balance, you know, maintaining a very healthy private sector uh, uh, while abiding by the laws to protect consumers in the long run. From another perspective, why my work is important to the world is I get a lot of exposure to different levels of an organization and also externally to different levels of government and stakeholders. And what that helps with is it helps me build my catalog of experiences of what to do, what not to do in situations. And I leverage those experiences to help others navigate a new corporate setting or a new endeavors. So always the forward thinking, what do we need to look out for? And what do these behaviors indicate? How can we move forward to make sure that we get this project to the finish line? That's my work, and that's why it's important to the world.